Hello, welcome to the fishbowl, everybody. Welcome back to the fishbowl, boys. What's up? Hello. Okay, so today on the fishbowl, we have an even more special guest, because um, Prince isn't here. So Prince requested that his good friend introduce yourself. I'm Chandler. Chandler would come on. So this is our first time meeting Chandler. Yeah, this is going to be a little, <laughs> a little awkward game. I mean, for like a second, and then we'll be like... Yeah, Chandler's a cool guy. It's an interest. It's an interesting uh, dynamic because usually we at least have the buffer of the person who knows them. Like, hey, mm-hmm, yeah. uh, this is my buddy, but this is just you're just coming in completely unprepared <laughs> here. Yeah, just ugh. I was about to say something, but then I realized it was not a good metaphor in this situation, <laughs> so I, I will refrain. All right, fair enough. Um, okay, so Chandler, do you understand the format of our podcast? Uh. Prince said, "Do you guys like pick a topic out and then just talk about it?" Yeah. Yep. That's that's, that's pretty basic. simple. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. All right. So we usually go off topic, though. <laughs> I mean, but that's the fun, that's the yeah, fun part about that's it. That's the fun part. Yeah. So usually we have guests go first, but we don't like. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Wait, no, 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 no. Wait a minute. Tell yeah. us about yourself first. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll right. decide yeah, if we you have we rights. Don't know you. <laughs> we'll decide you have rights. <laughs> okay. Um. I'm a war and peace major, which is like international studies. So that's fun because everyone argues about politics in like all my classes. <laughs> I do Ratsy, so I get to wake up at like 5 a.m. every morning. Um, that's about it. I'm just really tired all the time. <laughs> all yeah, the time. I can relate God, to that. God, what a mood. <laughs> Listen, as a bios major, I feel you. What's your major? Wildlife conservation bio. I feel like I knew this. I don't know. It's, it's pretty much like uh, I'm in class with all the pre med kids. Because mm. um, that's a way more popular major, and they have to take a lot of the same core classes as us. Mm-hmm. And I don't get to take my fun classes until like junior. Then I can take like herpetology and the real good that's stuff. The Portology. study of reptiles. Yes, it sure as hell is. I know that because I did a project in third grade about snakes. <laughs> my advi- my advisor studies. Uh, he teaches a class on uh, herps, as we call them. Herps. 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 That's what the, that when we go to wildlife club, they're like, hey. Uh, we got some herps here, and <laughs> but I try to refrain from saying herps when I'm not around other wildlife people because it just sounds like I'm talking about the STD. <laughs> anyway, fishbowl, yes. Oh wait, 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 keep keep talking about yourself, Chandler. Um, let me see. I live in Tanaka. How's that? Didn't the fire alarm go off a couple days ago? Yeah, but I, I wasn't saw it going there. off. I was in Columbus. No, <laughs> oh. like, but how is um? Uh, Tanaka is like yeah. a new storm, so it's really nice, but it's like all athletes and ROTC people. So like some of the RAs don't like us because we're loud. So you live in Tanaka. I know yeah. some people live in Tanaka. I'm yeah. I think. But wait, what year are you? You're freshman. freshman. Yeah. I don't know why I assumed you weren't one. Um, do you know? <laughs> Stop shaking your head, me kidding. Um, do you know a guy named Mason? Mason? No. No, okay, never mind. He lives in Tanaka. Sorry, Mason, if you're out there. We just called you out in front of in front of our audience of 20 people. So. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. We didn't say his last name. Well. Michael there. moment. Michael moment. That's not a Michael moment. That's a Michael moment. That sure is a Michael well, moment. What counts as a Michael moment? Anything, Anything. you do. <laughs> Anything I do. Being late to the yeah. podcast. We're going to give Chandler the fishbowl. Yes. Yeah. So you just kind of have to like hold it up and do a little ASMR in front of the mic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There do- you go. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. You got to keep going. You got to yeah. keep going. Give it, give it some taps. Give it, yeah, a little uh, stir yeah. it inside. A little slap, bro. Oh, yeah. That's kind of gay, Michael. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Right. Um, how to forget about your mom if she's murdered. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Whose topic? <laughs> I, think, well, I think we're finally getting some user-submitted ones, and yeah. I don't know how I feel about okay, it. Okay, wait. Let me... S- some user submitted, listener submitted. How to forget about your mother <laughs> if she's murdered? Does anyone out there like have experience with <laughs> yeah, this? Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't have experience with this kind of thing. Um, well, let's make up a hypothetical scenario. Yeah. So, Caden, let's pretend that you're home for winter break, and I come to your house tracking you down using the Life 360 app that Alec tried to get us to download. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to track you down. I'm going to come to your house, and I'm just going to stab your mother, and then I'm going to go home. What do you do? Okay, so for clarity, my mother dies from that stab wound, right? Yes, absolutely. Okay. I stab her in the jugular. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, no. It is very bloody and very gruesome, and I probably do like an evil laugh. And I'm there when it happens? Yes, I make you watch. Okay. And then I drive away in my Honda Accord. <laughs> <laughs> um, if that happened, I don't think I would forget, 
because of how traumatizing that is that you made yeah. me watch you stab my mother. <laughs> <laughs> but how do you, d- what do you do to forget? I suppose I would go into several years of therapy. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's healthy. And I would play uh, 14 hours of video games a day just to <laughs> take my mind off <laughs> Okay, <laughs> that's less healthy. 14 hours of Halo Reach a day? Yeah. That'd be pretty nice. The new Halo pack's coming out. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, I think I need to play Halo. December 3rd, baby. My birthday. Day. That's your Ooh. birthday, too? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, really? Yeah, bro. That's coming up. You should get Halo for your birthday. Yeah, the new Halo. Master Chief Collection for PC. Do you like Halo? Yeah. I haven't played it in a while, though. Well, it's coming to PC, so... Are you a PC guy, or do you like Xbox? consoles? Xbox? Yeah. Fair enough. Oh my <laughs> god. I'm kidding. I'm sorry, I like PlayStation more. Don't at me. I'm mixed. PlayStation's objectively better. PlayStation than Xbox. has better exclusives. Yeah. Okay. They have Persona. This, they, anyway. Okay, they, okay. No, we're not Michael, this what would you do if not, I came to your house and stabbed your mother? I'd probably like cry and like <laughs> I don't know. How are you gonna forget? Oh yeah, I left that part out. I would cry. Oh. Uh I'd probably like cry. How would I forget? Yeah. You don't just like forget, like And don't say drink. <laughs> well, I don't drink, so Yeah. I don't know. Uh, like that's one of the things you just like. You're just not gonna be able to forget it, you know. Like, do I just like suddenly just forget that I ever even had a mom? <laughs> like, like what do you mean forget? Like, like what are you like, gonna do to forget about her? About uh, who? Rearrange my memory. Your mother. I don't know who that is. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. You're right. I don't. I don't have a mom. I never did. Cause you. You killed her. You killed my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Michael is going to kill me in the studio tonight for my hypothetical murder of his mother. Yeah. Chandler, what would you do um, if, I ca- if I came to your house and killed your mom? You probably wouldn't get out of my driveway, honestly. <laughs> probably wouldn't get out of your driveway? No, I'd probably attack you if you tried to. Oh, I don't, I don't think you understand that I might be small, but I am mighty. I mean, yeah, I feel like Kendall could really like beat the shit out of somebody. I had to, yeah, no, I I wouldn't do this in real life, but hypothetically, if I got away with it, how would you forget? Um, probably wouldn't. How, uh, <laughs> yeah. Wait, can we have to tell us how you would do it? How would you commit the murder? Um, in, I, don't, I don't know any of your mothers personally, and I'm sure they are very lovely ladies, and I would not wish to kill them. Uh, <laughs> uh, what if my mom wasn't a lovely lady, would you wish to kill her? I still would not. I don't wish harm <laughs> on any human being for things that they cannot control. She kind of, she kind of, some woman just turned off the lights. I kind of like it. Makes the room it's, feel. It's a little, I'm it's, vibing in here. It's a little cozy. You know what? Yeah. No, here's what I'll do. This, this applies to all scenarios. So it's like two in the morning and I'm going to drive to your house in my, in my clunky little, uh, Honda Accord with like. What year? I don't remember. I don't know years on cars. It's a Honda Accord. One of the back tail lights shattered. Like it's, and it, and it makes a little clunky noise when I drive it because it's so old. It's got over 300,000 miles on oh it. Oh my God. Oh and so I'll drive it up to your house like, ding, 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 ding. I'll park in your, in your front, in your car park. In the car front. park? Car park. That's what it's called. Does anyone what? say that anymore? No car I park. S- the car park. I've never the heard that on the driveway. Driveway, car park, it's the same thing. So I'm going to park in your car park. And I've I'm never heard someone up. ever call this it a car park. This is completely new to me. Yeah. I'm going to come up to your front door. Oh, do you guys... Okay, wait, this is really off topic. Just real quick. Okay, what do you guys call... Do you guys, do you guys, do you guys ever use the word, like, allotment? Yeah. Mm, no, mean, wait. Like but only when, I'm, only when I'm specifically trying to be pretentious. So I'll be like, oh, would you like your allotment of food today, sir? No, not like an allotment. Like, instead of, like, a neighborhood, you call them an allotment. No, no. what the fuck? What? Yeah, that's, like, an only, like, a can thing, I think. Like, okay. more for where I'm from, people call them allotments. It's a Pittsburgh thing. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's a Pittsburgh thing. Um, <laughs> Who says that? Anytime Alexis says anything, we say that. <laughs> Where is she from? I don't even know. She, she she's from somewhere in Pennsylvania. That's kind of funny, actually. She she's says Yins. <laughs> Let, let me let me finish my hypothetical murder plot. <laughs> so right. I'm gonna come to your front door. I'm gonna ring the bell, and then if your mother answers the door, I'll just do the murder then. And if you answer the door, I'll be like, "Excuse me, sir." And you're gonna be like, "I think I've seen." If it's Chandler, you're gonna be like, "I think you've seen you before." And if it's Caden or Michael, they'll be like, "Oh, hey, dude, what's up?" I'm gonna be like, "Excuse me." I'm gonna walk inside. I'm gonna be like, "Is your mother home?" And you're gonna be like, "Yes," or maybe no, and then I'll just <laughs> leave. And, but if you say yes, I'm gonna go, "Okay, where?" And if you say, that's kind of weird, 
I don't know if I'm comfortable with this. I'll be like, no, tell me where your mother is. I have very urgent business to discuss with her. And you'll be like, okay, fuck, fine. Uh, she's upstairs. And I'll be like, all right, <laughs> follow me. And then I'll go upstairs and your mother will be like, oh, hello, are you this Kendall person? I'll be like, excuse me. And then I'll just have a, like a... A dagger. A dagger. No, no, a no, no, a no. Knife. A big leg of like lamb. This Whoa. is a reference to a story. <laughs> a story? So there's this story where a woman kills her husband with a leg of lamb and then cooks it and then feeds it to the police officers when they come to investigate oh, the murder. Yeah. We had to read it in sophomore year. But so oh, I, yes, a, I remember yes, this. I, I did read that. I'll have a leg of lamb and I will bludgeon her to death before you can stop me. And then I will be like, now do you see? And then I'll jump out the window and run away. While eating the raw leg lamb in your hand. Yeah, I'll just be like, chew. it's just like raw meat. I'm just going to chew on it. With, your, with the mom's blood, it's still on it. Yeah. <laughs> like it's no, no, like I orc. don't chew on it until I get to my last house. I'm doing all these houses on the same night. Wait, you're killing everyone's mom? In the same night, yeah. <laughs> and eating their blood Making like my rounds. House? Making my rounds, you know? Oh my goodness. They call me the... Uh, they call me Kendall. <laughs> they ca- I am Kendall. <laughs> they call me Kendall. We are Kendall. We are Kendall. We are Kendall. Yeah, I'll just get a bunch of copycats to follow me. I'll get <laughs> Stephanie to also commit murder. We are Kendall. I think we've exhausted that yeah. topic. I don't want to talk you, about you, killing your guys' mothers. Yeah, it makes turned, me feel you weird. You turned it into a whole ass story. That was pretty nice, not going to lie. That's a bios major for you. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. Uh, no, I'm kidding. I don't want to <laughs> kill your mothers. I'm sure they're very nice ladies. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, Yeah, let's go with Caden. <laughs> that was a, a crisp little uh, spank there. Yeah. Nintendo DS. Oh, I was playing this this morning, dog. You're playing the Nintendo DS. Did, wait, wait. Let me see the handwriting. Yeah, that was me. I did put that one in there. Yeah. Okay, so let's start with Chandler. Chandler, you've been awfully quiet. Um, what do you think about the Nintendo DS, Chandler? I've not played that in probably since, like, freshman year of high school. Ooh. Okay. And I did get a Nintendo 3DS, so it's been even longer. What What's your game of choice? Um... Any Zola game. Oh, yes, you or have Pokemon. taste. Okay. You Thank have you. rights. Thank Pokemon, you. which one? Which one? Which Any Pokemon? Which is your shield. favorite? No, shut um. up. Which is, your, which is your favorite? It was called Black. Yes. Black, and black. okay. Black that's and white one. are so good. Pearl is my favorite, but that's just because it was my first one. Black and white are really good. I forget. Um, What's the region called Black Unova. and white? It is Unova. Dang. Snivy. Uh, it's Snivy, Oshawott, and Tepig, but Tepig has no rights, so it's just Snivy and Oshawott. Tepig has no rights? Tepig does not have rights. If Why? you chose Tepig, you're wrong. I chose Tepig. You're wrong. <laughs> Okay, Tepig the f- is the worst fire starter to ever. Why? Exist. He's so cute. Yeah, but Embor is the worst. Why? You have no rights, Michael. You're not allowed to talk anymore. Well, what's wrong well, with We've Embor? already established that he likes Assassin's Creed. Like, what? oh my <laughs> gosh, okay. bad video game taste. What's wrong with Embor? Embor is it's a firefighting, and it's like the, I think it was the, oh, let me see, Infernape. There's so many firefightings. It's an overused trope, and that was one of the things that made it bad. Also, the design of Embor is bad. Also, I don't like it. <laughs> oh, sorry. I chose the fire type. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, if you... Listen, I usually sorry. pick the fire type fire or the grass cool. type. No, it's all right. Oh, my gosh. I'm sure... So, I'm, wait. So, your main gripe with me choosing Tepig is just because it's generic to choose a fire type? No, it's because I don't like it being a firefighting. It's its final evolution. There's nothing inherently wrong with Tepig. I just don't. A like fire it. and fighting. Yeah, every almost every like every second starter evolves into a firefighting. We've got Infernape. We've got I can't remember. Uh, Blaziken. Infernape, Blaziken, Embor, Cadent. What are some final evolutions that are firefighting other than Infernape, Blaziken, and Embor? Charizard. Charizard. Charizard <laughs> is not a firefighting. It's just a fire. Oh, I don't fucking know. I didn't play Pokemon. I played Emerald on an emulator. You have in my no junior rights. Junior year. Anyway, <laughs> and I didn't even the beat point, the game. The point stands that there are plenty of regions, and they keep evolving into firefighting types, and it's make it makes everyone really annoyed. Kendall, I think you're just butthurt because you yeah. lost the firefighting types many times. No, I'm. I actually have really good strategies for that. I usually pick grass types, but when I pick the water type, I'm unstoppable. So wait, do you just not like it because it's OP? 
No, it's not OP. It's I just feel like a an overused. Type would be OP. It's really not. It's just an overused trope. I don't appreciate it. I want to see a fire electric starter. That'd be kind of dope. That's what I wanted Score Bunny's final evolution to be, but I think it's just a monotype, which is unfortunate. Really? Yeah, it's just, just fire. fire. Just straight fire. S straight fire. Just straight fire, dog. Bro, Score Bunny, straight fire. What's what's the best Pokemon starter? Oh. Just overall. Oh, let me think about that for. Everyone except Caden has a say in this. Any fire type. Best Pokemon starter. I like Chimchar. Chimchar is pretty Char good. Some of the best who? It's called. The best Pokemon starter ever. Can't go oh, wrong with Bulb Mudkip. Mudkip's pretty good. I like Chikorita. <laughs> Chikorita? Choosing Chikorita is like the hard mode of gold and I also, silver. I also like Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil's good. I can't remember some of them. I, I like Piplup. I remember like half these names. You, you do or don't? I don't. You like, don't? Yeah. Okay. Like, but what's your favorite Pokemon? Um, eh. For good, it's the white Pokemon that's like the most rare one. What, Mewtwo? Arceus? If yeah, Arceus. Arceus, Arceus I is actually the god. bought yeah. a used Pokemon game. I think it was like, I forget what it was, which one it was, but it had that Pokemon on it, and I transferred it over to my black version. Yeah. The one. Just, were there Pokemon games that had Arceus on the cover? You could only get yeah, it from a game. Oh, what 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 did the cover of the game look like? Uh, it was like some silver, not was one it? of the older. Soul Silver. Maybe. Can you get Arceus in Soul Silver? I you got can't. Arceus in. Um, well, you can. You can get Arceus in events through most of the games. I missed the. I missed the event in. Uh, in the Hoenn games to get Shaman, and I'm mad about it. But. Oh. I got Arceus in. I think black. I don't white. remember. I got Arceus from the GTS. <laughs> oh okay, that's funny. <laughs> Wait, okay, and then they had black and white too. Black and white too were still pretty good. Black and white had rights. Black and White 2 doesn't have rights? No, Black and White and Black and White 2 had rights. Oh. I feel like the pe like the series hit its peak at about Black and White 2, and then it was a decline. You don't like X and Y? I don't mind X and Y. I think they're good. I just think it's like started a precedent for the games being different. Yeah, that's fair. And Once this makes me sound like a purist and like I didn't, don't like the 3D games. I do. I loved Sun and Moon. I just It's just different. I get that. I got to... I never, I never finished X and Y. Most because, like, I don't know. Like, I always just kind of, like was weird about Pokemon games because I'm not the type of dude to just, like, grind for XP. Oh, I totally am. Really? I built a competitive team in Ultra Sun and Moon. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, I, I started to. I'm just not that... I'm just, like, I just, like, hate sitting around, so, like, I wouldn't, like, use too many different types of Pokemon. I have a Smeargle that I used to shiny chain in Sun, so I have a bunch of shinies. <laughs> really? Yeah, I would... I told my friends that if they paid me $15, I would get them a shiny of their choice. No one took me up on it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're... We're kind of going off right now about po let's change let's change it to like Zelda or something. Po okay. Zelda. Zelda. Yes. Okay. So Tell me about I Zelda. never played Zelda. Um, All right. So did you like Ocarina of Time? That was like the best one ever. Ocarina of Time is the pinnacle of Zelda. Mm. Breath of the Wild's really mm. really good though. Breath Have you played Breath of the Wild, Chandler? No. Ocarina it is so good. Ocarina of Time is very good, but I can't play it. Like I just can't. Why not? It's just like. It's like so like like for what it was at the time. It's like so good, but just replaying it, it's just like oh, I just can't do this. Mm, that's valid. Like after playing Breath of the Wild, it's just like why can't I climb up this wall? Like why can't <laughs> Breath I? Breath of climb the this Wild wall? is like a different <laughs> genre of game. It's Skyrim as opposed to like Final Fantasy. Yeah, though I mean, I'm, don't get me wrong. Breath of the Wild was probably one of the best games of uh, the year. Came was it 2017? Yeah. I adore Breath of the Wild. Yeah, but like, there's still some things I really don't like about it. Like what? Uh, the story. I think it's kind of shit. Oh, well, yeah. It's it's one of those games where I feel like if there was a story or, like, more of a story, I wouldn't enjoy it as much. Because really? most of the appeal of it is the fact that I can just dick around and, like, climb mountains. And it there's no really, like, set objectives. There's objectives, but I don't have to complete them in a certain order. Well, yeah. So I can just, like, skip around and go climb mountains and, like, jump from place to place and not feel like I'm cheating. I mean, it's still like to do that, but I really hope that they fix story in the second one. Which the will second? be. You don't know about that? I I don't pay attention. You didn't see the trailer for Breath of the Wild two? No. Really? Really? Yeah, like it's uh, it came. It was at E three. Oh. Breath of well, the I didn't watch E three. Oh, okay, never mind. Well, Breath of the Wild is having a sequel, like a a, a direct sequel. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I obtain all of my information about video games either from listening to other people talk about it or from work. Oh well, Breath of the Wild two. Aren't they using the out. same map but with a new area? They're doing to they're it. doing some oh, same engine. Oh, that's kind of boring. But getting, the new areas. 
gigantic. Okay. Like, it's like double the size of the old area. Okay. Because yeah, I the, I've made it my business to find every place on the map. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Which is it, why I haven't beaten the game yet. Breath of the Wild. Okay. Wait. Um. When you mean beaten the game, do you mean like get I all the Korok seeds? No, I haven't like finished the main storyline because oh, I've really? been too busy dicking around, getting every tower filled out, finding shrines. Like That's I've fine. been intentionally avoiding the story. Do you know what you get for completing all the shrines? Uh, you get, like, the Link clothes. Yeah, the Hero's Tunic. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get enough shrines so that I can get hearts to get the Master Sword before I go fight Ganon, mm -hmm. uh, which would be a hint. But right now I'm fighting uh, Va, the Salamander one on the mountain with the, go with the Gorok. Oh, Va... It's an R. Va... God, this is just gonna. You, if you, me. if you played Breath of the Wild, you know the gecko yes, that I'm talking yes. about. Okay, sorry. I know you guys like don't really. Well, I mean, you might. I haven't played Zelda in like so long. So yeah. Like, okay, but you haven't played Breath of the Wild. Okay, so Ocarina of Time, it's very good for its time. I can't replay it. Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask is so fucking creepy. I love Majora's Mask. Yeah, it's pretty good. I never finished it. I got the 3DS version. I never finished it. I've but. never played Majora's Mask. I've just watch oh, other really? people play it but i just love it so much yeah it's really dope i watch speed runs of it because mm -hmm. we always run speed runs on the tvs at game arena kid you never played a zelda nope well have you played i guess Breath our i guess our sins are balanced now i don't have a switch kid you can borrow my switch if you want you I'm can borrow, borrow my, your you, switch to play breath of the wild you can uh, run you around should. in my copy of breath of the wild <laughs> i'm not Bro, that's such a year. long game i'm not gonna borrow your switch i barely that. ever touch my switch it doesn't matter oh my gosh Caden won't play Red Dead. He won't take my switch. This is a terrible. You ever crap. played Red Dead? Ah! I someone agrees with me. It's like the best game ever. Red Dead well, Two. Well, how about that? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh God! God. Okay. Here we go again. Halo Reach. Halo oh, Reach is gosh. the best game ever. You haven't played Red Dead. Okay, no, no, we're not going to argue about this again. Or maybe we are. Red Dead Two. It's on I'm PC. It's on, it's on PC now. Yeah, it's also sixty dollars. You know what else was sixty dollars, Caden? The Outer Worlds. Outer Worlds. Yeah, and I chose. I, I prioritized the Outer World. Yeah, and then Caden went. Hold on, I'm about to buy a sixty dollar game when we were just chilling, and then he did. Wait, have you? Wouldn't have you been playing it a lot lately? I mean, not a lot. Oh. But I just haven't been playing video games a lot. Yeah, same. I'm trying to get back into it. I got the monitor. You see, you see. I go over to Kendall's a lot, and I'm like, let's play video games, and then I just take And then out. he just <laughs> sleeps on my phone. And then I'll sit there, like, playing whatever the fuck. Like, sometimes I'm on my Switch, sometimes my DS, sometimes I'm on my computer. And then he'll, like, lay down in that little corner where we have, like, the two uh, bean bags. Bean bags. Bean bag. Bean bag. <laughs> and he'll just conk out. Um, mm. yeah. Michael, I just remembered you needed your HDMI cord. Oh, that's okay. I, I forgot. No, it's not a big deal. Um, I think, okay, so we were supposed to be talking about the uh, <laughs> DS, but, we, but hey, that's that's the fun part. We yeah. got a topic. So I think it's safe for me to pull something on the fish <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready? You sound like the voice that I talk to my cat in. <laughs> <laughs> like a fucking goblin. Oh, I don't like that. All right. <laughs> Get on with it. <laughs> oh, I'm. He is putting his hat on the fishbowl, everybody. And he's rubbing it gently. Mm. <laughs> it puts the lotion on the skin. <laughs> <laughs> wax on, wax off. <laughs> what does it say, Michael? Old people sex. <laughs> <laughs> I did not put this one in here. I think this is Prince's handwriting. <laughs> <laughs> what? Where do we go? From? That how man does, is so lucky he's not we, here right we, now. How do we talk about this? Um, so like, do old people even have sex though? Like, actually, I feel like once you get to that yes, age, actually, yes. I used to work in a nursing home, so I feel like I'm uniquely qualified to talk about this subject. Okay. Yes. So like, they try to have sex with every single aide, really? including me when I was 16. I'm still not over it. <laughs> oh boy, that was like a huge problem we'd have. Was that the the nurse aides? I would talk to them sometimes, and they would be like, "Yeah, no, I went into insert name here's room today. You know, tried to clean his stuff up, and he like tried to grope me, and I was like, ah, ah, ah. And I was like, this is normal for you? And what she was like, heck? Yeah, you know, they're old men; they can't keep, you know. <laughs> 
but it's kind of messed up. It we had one married couple in there, but a lot. The sad thing was that a lot of them, like, a, there weren't many couples because a lot of them only got admitted to like nursing after one, their partner had died. So there were there was only one married couple there, and they were so sweet, and I love them so much. But I did not ever actually walk in on like an old person, old old people having sex. The rest of them were just trying to smash. Yeah, no, but I also didn't like. I weren't the nur- I wasn't a nurse aide, so I didn't have to go in and like care for them. I just made food. Mm-hmm. So a lot of the nurse aides did say that like sometimes you'll walk in on an old guy just you know jacking off, eating his meat. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny though. It's did- funny, but it's sad because you know they're just trying to live lo- their lives, do what they want to do in a private space. <laughs> <laughs> it's so sad. Wait, do you think? Okay, do you, like they try and hook up with like the other old woman there? No, I mean maybe. But usually it's just the young, attractive, like, workers. Yeah. But they don't, like, I don't think they're seriously trying to hook up. A lot of them are just, like, saying really sexual things in an attempt to, like, feel more in control of their situation. Which is what I would always tell myself so that I didn't get too (coughs) up in arms about it. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. It would be, like, the dorms all over again. But, like, you're old. Yeah. 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 Kind of. Except also... the dorms, you actually have privacy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you kick out your roommate like I do, oh, <laughs> yeah. my roommate have comes roommates. in my room and I'll be in the bathroom like just chilling because I forgot why I was like even in there. And he comes in, he bangs on the door. He's like, Jen, "I swear to God, if you're in the bathroom, you kick your ass." <laughs> I'm like, "Shut up! You're not gonna do anything." <laughs> At least you guys have your own bathroom. Yeah, yes, yeah. That's but we have to clean it ourselves. So, so, so? <laughs> who cares? My parents made me clean the bathroom in my own house. Yeah. All the time. Every Sunday. It's part of my chores. Well, actually, it was like every three Sundays. It's better than going into like the community bathroom and finding like this at giant Scott. glob of like hair at Scott yeah, just like, like <laughs> in the corner of the like shower I'm, and like, I don't want to touch that. Kendall, last time, okay. La- when I went to the bathroom last time I was hanging out with you, mm-hmm. I went to the bathroom. I went to wash my hands. Every single one of the sinks was clogged with hair. Ugh. I was like, the one time I had to Ew. use the bathroom at Scott when I spent the night, it was like, I was like, I'm never coming back here. <laughs> I don't, it's not that bad once you get used to it. And also I've changed all my like shower schedule to be during the times when no one else is in there. It's either at like two in the morning or at like, it's usually at seven in the morning because none of the crackheads are up. Because mm-hmm. sometimes I found out that during the night times, like midnight to 3 a.m. Oh, yeah. You'll be chilling in the bathroom and some random dude will like run in and like be like, hey, 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 and I'll be like, get the, leave. All the drunk dudes. Please go into your own bathroom and not this one. I am trying to take a shit. At least we don't have <laughs> key cards for our doors. You don't? Well, like the d- inside, the, you know, like your actual door to your room. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like I have friends at Ohio State, like in Columbus. Oh, yeah. Where nice they to have to swipe into their room and the dorm. So if they're, yeah, they do that, you see. I have friends who had were like in the shower and they go back to the room to swipe their card. It doesn't work. So they, they're not allowed to go like down to the lobby to get it fixed when they're only in a towel, but they had to go downstairs. So it's just like a big problem. Wait, yeah. why didn't their card work? Because it sometimes it breaks and like they'll malfunction and stuff because it's college. My card's starting to break, guys. It's been out in the cold, like snap warm, snap warm. So it's getting little cracks in it, and I'm a little worried. Holy crap! Let me see if mine's okay. And now's the time where we all can steal Caden's like identity. $5. Mine's bending. I was tempted to go on to the thing and change my preferred name and go get a new ID. <laughs> Grace just texted me back. Oh, boy. She said, I didn't mean to call you, sorry. <laughs> what, what would you prefer your name to be, Chandler? Pro- probably one nickname. Some nicknames. That Not Chandler like the guy from Friends? Gaming. What, That's what so people call annoying. You? Chan? I've call never it? seen... Chandler Bing is, is kind I'm of popular. Chandler Chan. That's enough out of you. <laughs> <laughs> so, old people having sex. No, nah, we're, we're moving on. Oh, we're moving that. on from yeah. this. Really? Okay. Yeah. I'm Dang. sorry whoever submitted this. If it was you, Prince, I'm not sorry. But anyone else, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. uh, Did I you say you're from Pittsburgh? No. No, I'm from, <laughs> I'm from Bexley. Uh, <laughs> I think we're all from Ohio. Wait, where are you from? I'm from, I was born in Cincinnati, but I'm from Pickerington. Ooh, um, I know where that is. <laughs> me too. My uh, stepmom works in Pickerington, I think. I'm pretty sure. Fun. Fun, yeah. fun. Good She's times. She's a teacher. Ooh. Okay. Great. 
It's it's Kendall's turn for the fish bowl. I had to reach my absurdly short arms. Ooh. Stretch. I gotta do a stretch, guys. I just put my mouth on that. I'm sorry. Yeah. Not like actually, but like like this. <laughs> just enough. You're gonna get cooties if you touch it. <laughs> Halloween. Oh, Halloween. Oh, oh, the people who call it Hollow Halloween can just like not exist anymore. I was not here. Where oh, were you? really? So, yeah, I had guard duty for like drill for the National Guard. So oh, I was wow. freaking stuck in Columbus. That sucks. Yeah. <laughs> eh. okay, Don't worry, though. you got you got more years. Yeah. Yeah. So, who wants to talk about their Halloween shenanigans? Um, I mean, we were together. Yeah. Yeah. Michael, did you, did you pop in on point? Halloween? For like an hour. Yeah. And then I left again. Mm. Yeah. <coughs> I went to Mill Street. That was not fun at all. We went to Mill we Street, but we didn't go. actually go anywhere. Yeah. Like, yeah. All we, the parties were busted already. Mm -hmm. I paid I paid $10 for that wristband. Yeah, and I didn't get to use it. I did too. This is stupid. Mm -hmm. Literally, like... It was probably for the best, though, because otherwise oh, yeah, Stephanie was, and Karina would have... Yeah. <laughs> I was already, like... I had enough. <laughs> yeah. I was, it was, uh, me and a couple others were just like, we had plans. We were like, all right, you watch this person, you watch yeah. this person, we're just gonna, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was, that was very fun to drag my assigned person around. <laughs> yeah, I was, um, I went to Mill, but, like, it's just because, like, at least every experience I've had on Mill Street has been, someone's leading, I'm not leading the group, someone else is leading the group. But they're acting like they know what they're doing when in reality they don't, they don't. know what they're they don't know what they're doing yep. at all. So if we just walk down up and down the sidewalks for like like a fucking hour and it's like so annoying. It's like, all right, uh, do we go to a party? Do we not go to a party? And like when we do go to a party, no one knows how to act at the party. It's like literally like even the people at the parties don't even know how to act. You know, I low key despise like house parties. Yeah, they're stupid. I don't mind if it's just like a cup like my friends, but if it's just a bunch of people I don't know, the only purpose of showing up to those parties is to just get wasted. Yeah, like, um, and I don't yeah. even, uh, yeah. Uh, and even then, I'm not like comfortable enough in a group of people I don't know <laughs> to yeah. even like be social or anything. So I just sit in the corner by myself, like at parties. Yeah. Interesting. I mean. I may seem like a very social person, but in reality. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, me too. Like, like I was at um. There's this party on Mill Street on Halloween, and I was um. Oh, like I didn't. I Caden didn't think it was is cracking. His I didn't think it was your skeleton. Yeah, I didn't think it was your turn for ASMR, Caden. I'm gonna beat you to death, Michael. <laughs> uh. That's the best ASMR I've gotten all day. On Mill Street, there was this party, and it was, like, so stupid. Like, you were, everyone was just shoulder to shoulder. We were just standing like this. You had to, like, squeeze through people, just to, like, get through. And then, like, the cops came. And then everyone was like, oh, my gosh, it's the cops. Oh. <laughs> they just ran. I'm like, no, that's the last thing you want to do. So it's just, I know it's stupid. Like, I don't even know. Like, what, what good comes out of a party? What, a couple, Very little. A couple girl Snapchats. Is that it? It's not even worth mm -hmm. it. So and the stupid. girls will will definitely leave you on red and then ghost you and block you. Mm -hmm. Because they weren't in their own uh, devices that night, most likely. Yeah. I don't know. I don't see the point in it. Also, it makes me super anxious. I'm not... Yeah. I would just really rather just chill somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> with, with friends. Yeah, very good. So, mm -hmm. Halloween, it was interesting. Yeah. <laughs> It was. <laughs> yeah, okay. That was the time. Okay, so you and the boys, like, you all hung out together. Yeah. Or were you just... <laughs> Michael. Or, what? There's, like, three boys that were hanging out. Yeah, there. it was... It was, like, three boys and, like, the boy, seven boys. Boys is a gender-neutral term. It's B-O-I-Z. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. But, yes, we were all... Yes, we hung out. Yeah. Um, And then we went up to Mill Street, and then we went back, and then... Then we went to... Oh, no, the the Union Street Diner was the next day, wasn't it? USD. Yeah, because that was the day we slept there. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. We went out Friday. Yeah, we slept. We, we slept out. over. We slept over Saturday because yeah. that was more like just chill, kickback. Mm -hmm. No one really 
drank. But. On Saturday. Yeah, no. Everyone was too... <laughs> I mean, like, we brought out, like, wine, but it was so bad. Really? <laughs> yeah, usually I'm, I finish whatever's given to me, but, ooh, that wine was Who's what? Good. It was uh, Aces. Ugh. Yeah, I know. I did not drink on Halloween. I just hung out. Kendall's a good Christian girl. No, that's not <laughs> it. I was just, I was just like, this is... I don't like not being in control of myself. Yeah. Especially on Halloween when we were supposed to go to a party. I was like, I don't want to get, like, drugged or kidnapped or anything. Mm -hmm. And I don't know who drunk Kendall is, and I don't want to find out <laughs> in, a, in that bad of a situation. So Understandable. I'll, I, yeah. <laughs> you um, know. What else did I do on Halloween? Well, I went, um, I went back to Court Street. And then I just wanted to get insomnia cookies because I was like, fuck this. I was, with the, I was with people, and I was like, I'm leaving you guys. I don't care. And, which probably isn't a good idea, but I did meet some people on Court Street to, like, buddy up with. And uh, then we just went back to... There are, people, there are other people who live in Scott that I met up with. Mm. And, um, yeah, and then we just went back to Scott. What did I do the rest of the night? Slept? No, I hung out with Corinne. Mm. That's what I did. Corinne and Dylan. In Caroline. Corinne got sick that weekend. Yeah, yeah, she was yeah, it was not very good. Yeah, I think I went we I went home fairly early on Friday night, like yeah. can, all things considered. And then Saturday we just kinda hung out and then we spent the night over in the triple and then we went to Union Street Diner. Mm -hmm. I gotcha. That was That was a good time. That was a good time. So Chandler Alexis Asa. is still not forgiven Asa for what he did. <laughs> she hasn't forgiven me. I didn't even do anything wrong. You saw it happen, I saw it and happen. you did nothing. Uh, bystander Wait. effect. Okay, so here's what happened. I'm going to have to cut this out. No. Uh, maybe? No. No. Asa, what? like, Alexa, Alexis had some toast. <laughs> <laughs> well, where is this going to go? Okay. And Asa reached across the table, picked up a piece of toast that was on the top of that, licked it from top to bottom, and put oh it back. Oh, my God. It was <laughs> so fucking... I was the only one that saw it. And I was then, looking at Asa like... <laughs> <laughs> and then Alexis proceeded to eat the entire piece of toast. <clears throat> and only after she had consumed the last bit, Wait, Asa went... Okay, throughout, like... She ate all of her other shit on her plate first. Mm -hmm. And, like, throughout that, me and Ace were, like, looking at each other, like, chuckling. <laughs> and everybody asked what was going on. We, we said absolutely nothing. And while she was eating the toast, I was cracking up. <laughs> it was the funniest shit ever. And then we didn't tell her until, like... After she had completed the entire yeah. toast. And then Ace was just like, yeah, I licked that. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> and then she, just, she was so upset. Yeah. She oh. hasn't forgiven me. Yeah. yeah. She's like, I hate you. <laughs> like, stop being short. <laughs> no. Don't be mean to Alexis. We love her. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. That uh, was an interesting day. I don't remember what I got there. No. Um, was, it that, was that on Saturday, Halloween? Saturday night? Yes. I got you. Yeah. I got you. Because it was... It was more like Sunday morning. It was like 1 a.m. Damn. Yeah, because that was when I was in my farmer costume. Yeah. Because that was, that was after we went to Kelsey and Allie's. Oh, that's right. I mm. forgot about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was weird. Yeah, we showed up, we stayed for five minutes, and then yeah. we left. <laughs> All right. I think we've... What were yeah. we even talking about? Hall weekend? Hall yeah. There's, there's, hall there's Halloween down here in general. Hey, what were your costumes? I was... I mean, I know what your costumes were, but tell tell the... Tell Chandler, the did, you, did you have, like, a costume plan in mind before uh, you got guard duty? Well, it's every month, so I knew I was going to be gone, but we had this hall... I don't know if you guys heard us, but we like ran around the campus freaking screaming. Yes. <laughs> no. Yeah. I was, I couldn't run because my tailbone was bruised. Oh. oh so rip. like I can't even do sit-ups or anything right now because like, it freaking hurts every time. So I didn't go run. So I didn't dress up that day, but like everyone else was dressed up. So what I'd, would you have dressed up as? Probably a pizza. <laughs> 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 Anyone in uh, ROTC knows the joke behind that. <laughs> I wanted to dress up as pizza, but I ended up dressing up as just the freaking cow onesie. At least Saturday night, Monday, sun, Friday night, I dressed up as uh, Michael. I was, <laughs> I was Ron Stoppable from Kim Possible. From Kim Possible. You were? Yeah. He was. It was really hard because the effect didn't come across because he's not ginger. <laughs> but no, he, he's blonde. Yeah. I'm talking about you. Yeah, I know. You, Ron whatever. Stoppable is blonde. And you are not. Yes. <laughs> the effect did not come across until... Yeah, why'd you say ginger? 
Kim Possible. I movie. haven't Ooh. seen Kim Possible in mm. so long. Don't at me. <laughs> no, it, the effect didn't come across until you put the gloves on, and then it came across. You should have gotten a naked mole rat, like a stuffed animal. <laughs> oh. it around. Then it would have come across. Yeah, but mm. that's money. <laughs> that's true. Michael, you were the cow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But on a cow onesie, and Friday night, I was just Michael. I was a sexy Minecraft creeper. You were? Yeah, I had like fishnets and a, a green dress and like a creeper head that's still in my closet. If anyone wants it, it was actually a really good costume. <laughs> really, yeah, yeah, and like and like heels, my feet are heels actually. Uh, and then on Saturday, I didn't want to wear the same costume because it was really really cold out. So I w- wore overalls and uh, like a shirt and a st- and a cowboy hat, and I was a uh, a farmer. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but I don't need a costume for that because <laughs> I come from fuck all nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. What time is it, gay? It's about that time. It's about yeah, that well, time. okay, real quickly, real quickly, real quickly. Okay, so <laughs> Flick Chat. <laughs> yes, oh, yeah. Flick Chat. Here's Let's our promotion advertise. segment. Yeah, we yeah. advertised it last time, but uh, everyone, we're on Flick Chat. Flick Chat's like a podcast app. You can go on, request topic ideas, and uh, people like chat sometimes during the, uh, during the uh, things, but right now they did not chat. So we don't really have any topic ideas right now, other than like topic ideas that will go in the fishbowl eventually. Right. But, um, as of right now, nothing really to talk about. Yeah. So join it. We need more people. Yeah, we need yes. everyone on Flick Chat. Also follow our Twitter and our Instagram. Yes, we're, we're, we're yes. already have an Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Apologies like, for everyone who does follow the Twitter. I almost never post episode updates now because I forget. I'm sorry. <laughs> I will post memes though if that makes you feel any better. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think we're good to wrap it up. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I think so. Yeah, it's a, I think it was a pretty successful episode. Uh, yes. Chandler, right. do you have any last words, Chandler? Uh, <laughs> we're about to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Prince said something about Prince time. Yeah. No, we're not doing I that. I don't know what that means. <laughs> no Prince what? time? Hold on. No Prince time. Hold on. Prince time? Hold on. I want to find out what Prince time is. No, you remember how he said he, yeah, every time he, he says it at the very end of every episode, like I, when I'm editing, I'm just like, what, <laughs> what does this what, mean? What does he say? Does he he say? just goes, it's Prince time. Hey, it's Prince time. All right. Hey, it's I, Prince time. Hey. <laughs> hey, it's Prince time. It's Prince time. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Prince, we miss you. Come back. Yeah, come back, Prince. <laughs> <laughs> All right, have All right. a have a great fishbowl yeah, Friday. Thanks for yes. listening. Have a fantastic. Hey, say have say have a happy fishbowl Friday. Have a happy fishbowl Friday. Hell yeah! Hell Thank you, Chandler, yeah. for being here. Yes. Yay! Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.